Here's the UK land and weather forecast for the first three days of March, 1st to the 3rd, that's Friday to Sunday. It's been a little while since the last forecast, but not too much has changed in um, all honesty. Thursday's highs are shown there at 10s and 11s generally, and the low temperatures down well into the minuses in some uh, mountainous areas, down to minus 7 in Shap, for instance, in Cumbria. So let's look what's in store for the next three days, and you'll see that the dry and the chilly trend will continue. Uh, temperatures will struggle to reach double figures, and there may be some areas of drizzle, particularly towards the end of the weekend in some areas. And the reason for the current weather is because there's a massive high pressure system currently parked over us at the moment, and that will remain the case for the most part over the next few days, particularly further north, the highest of the pressure will be seen. So let's look at Friday. Um, all places should stay dry uh, with some sunny intervals for some areas um, around the Irish Sea coast, mainly into central Scotland as well, where there'll be some sunny intervals and um, the western coast of uh, northern England and Wales and into southern parts of Ireland as well. We'll see sunny intervals. The rest of us will remain overcast with temperatures uh, reaching a high of 9 degrees, perhaps one or two areas reaching double figures, and uh, 5 degrees over in East Anglia, probably being the lowest of the high temperatures on Friday. And there won't be too much change coming into Friday night either. Um, Northern England mainly will remain uh, partly cloudy, as well as Ireland and the far southwest of England as well, and the rest of us will remain overcast, of course, um, including central Scotland, cloud building back in from the partly cloudy skies we'll see on Friday during the daytime. And temperatures will should remain above freezing in most areas, but some places may fall below freezing, particularly around northwestern and central England. Looking at Saturday, then, there'll be some drizzle in the highlands of Scotland. It shouldn't be too persistent in terms of precipitation. It shouldn't be heavy either, just light drizzly rain up there and um, partly cloudy skies more sunshine to be had during Saturday we'll see a lot of partly cloudy skies towards the east and towards the southwest as well temperatures in Scotland will be the highest of the um, of the British Isles reaching 10 degrees in central areas uh, the rest of us seven or eight if you're lucky five in the far south coming into Saturday night we'll see the drizzle this time in northeastern England up into Scotland around Edinburgh as well uh, we'll see some drizzle and um, light rain during the overnight hours. And in the far south and southeast, we'll see some breaks in the cloud here for the first time in a while. And foggy for some western areas, particularly up in Scotland. Um, western areas of Scotland may see some foggy weather coming in with no temperatures of 3 or 4 degrees as a high and at zero in the southeast where it's a little bit more clearer. So looking at Sunday, the best of the weather will be found in southern areas of the British Isles, that's southern England, southern Wales and um, the Republic of Ireland, where we'll see partly cloudy conditions. Uh, and the worst of the weather will probably be drizzle in central and northern parts of England, the northwest and uh, Humberside, that area as well. We'll see a little bit of light rain and high temperatures we're looking at 7 or 8 degrees, which is around just below average for this time of year though certainly not uncommon for the first days of March. And coming into Sunday night, um, mainly cloudy for most areas again, partly cloudy in some spots, um, a little bit hit and miss in the northwest and in the southeast, and also the southwest of England as well. And in Ireland, we'll see some more partly cloudy skies. Um, the western coast of Wales will also be partly cloudy, and that's why temperatures will fall below freezing for that area, North Wales into northwestern England, below freezing minus one and for the rest was three or four if you're lucky as a low temperature there's more on the website force13.com and on my behalf i hope you had a good february even though the weather was a little bit inclement and cold